Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Hunjo here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys an easy way to not only increase your FPS, but also lower your system latency. I've created this power plans folder to download. In this video, there'll be five different power plans, and I'm going to show you guys how to test it for FPS as well as for system latency. So when you run the bat file, as long as you have the power plans folder on your desktop, it should import all of these power plans. If you accidentally download something more than once or something you want to delete, you just go to change plan settings and delete this plan. Now, as many of you might know, if you go into the change plan settings, change advanced power settings, you'll get these few options that come up, something that you might have seen in other YouTube videos. However, power settings explorer shows you all of the settings that are involved in the power plan. I've included more than one power plan for multiple reasons. One, some of these power plans have idle disabled. When you have idle disabled, it'll show you this glitch in task manager where your CPU is running at 100%, but it actually isn't. It's just there's no idle process. When you disable idle, it can slightly lower your FPS. However, it is gonna lower your system latency, but that might not be the case for everyone, depending on how your system is cooled. If your CPU has the tendency to run hot, or if you're on a laptop, using a power plan that has idle disabled might not work well for you. This is why I'm going to recommend using something like Quick CPU that can monitor your CPU temperature while you're using the power plan to make sure you're not overheating and throttling your PC. So after you've installed these power plans, we're going to go to the Performance Analyze text, and we're going to go to this download link, which will bring us to this page. So we're going to click on this link up top, and now you're going to choose whatever Windows that you have and download the ADK for it. So I have the Windows 10 2004. It's going to download this setup EXE. Mine's a little different because I already have it downloaded. But I'm just going to continue with the change. Your screen should look like this. And we're only going to need to download the Windows Performance Toolkit and download it to a location that you know. DJ Dolman, also known as Time Card, created this PowerShell script. It's not going to start until five seconds after you start it, so you'll be able to open up Fortnite or Warzone or whatever program you're testing. And then it's going to run for 30 seconds. And then after it runs, you're going to click enter to create the file. I'm going to show this as an example for two different power plans as well. There is a few things we need to do before this is going to work. So as you see here, I've created C perfmon as a folder. So you're gonna to need to go into your file explorer, whatever disk you wanna save it to, and then right click, create a new folder. And I've named it perfmon right here. You need to change this in three locations if you're going to use a different spot. This, this, and lastly this spot. You can also change the date every time if you wanna have the date for each file. So first, I'm going to show you guys how to test for system latency and how to quickly read the difference between the two. First, I'm going to test on a power saver power plan just to show a bigger discrepancy in the numbers. I'm going to use Fortnite as an example here as I'm standing in creative. I'm going to copy the script. I'm going to open up Windows PowerShell as admin and I'm going to right click. And then I'm going to open up Fortnite really quick and go into full screen and then it will run for 30 seconds, and then I will show you what to do after. Okay, so now we've ran it for 30 seconds. It's gonna bring us to this. We're gonna click enter to create the file. And then when you open up File Explorer, C Drive, and go to that folder we've created, you're gonna see the text file. I'm gonna run this one more time with a different power plan. Now when you're testing, you should do more than one run, but I'm just gonna show one run here to show how to compare. So I'm gonna copy it again. I'm going to click enter and you'll see I created two files here. There's a couple ways to compare the results, but I'm just going to go over a broad perspective. On the left here, I had power saving features. You can see that my total time is more than my total time over here when I had low latency on, but you can also go by the milliseconds as well. You can see I had a higher percentage between zero and one milliseconds than I did on the power saving. And when you get into more specific results, 
you'll see the same trend of a higher percentage between zero and one and one and two, which is the results you want for system latency. But make sure when you're doing this, you're mindful of your CPU temperature. So I would test this with your frames uncapped as well in Warzone or Fortnite to make sure that you're running at a temperature that's still suitable in case that profile has idle off. Because if you get at a hot enough temperature, your CPU will throttle back or your GPU depending on which one you're limited by and you'll have big frame drops and you'll wonder what's causing it. Or comparing FPS, you can download something like MSI Afterburner or Capframe X to get specific results. So when we're comparing between power plans, you can focus on maximum FPS if you're going to see a big difference. But if you do have a similar maximum FPS, make sure you're comparing your 0.1% lows and your 1% lows. Because when you're doing this for extended periods of time, you're going to see which power plan is creating a stable environment and which power plan is giving you frame drops. But obviously I tested with such a short period here, you're not going to see that in the results. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more content. Peace out.